right guys so i just got this little coleman stove deal here uh god gave it to my dad he was just gonna throw it away so it's pretty rough right now as you can tell it's gonna require a lot of cleaning up and stuff on the inside outside everywhere i might just sand it all down and repaint it so before i do any work to it though i want to see if it works so i'm gonna try to light it attempt to light it I guess I should probably turn it on some first. Alright, so I'm going to try to light this thing. The torch is empty, but maybe it'll still light. Well, it lit. That one did. That one lit, too. I don't think they're burning right though. I think it's supposed to be like a blue flame. Okay, so we're gonna clean it now that I know that it works. I'm gonna start sanding it and see if I can get this thing clean. Okay, so now that the flames lit and someone did what they're supposed to, I'm gonna try taking this thing apart, seeing what it looks like. I wonder if that comes up. I feel like it should. Maybe not. So, I guess I could probably take those off and see what they look like on the inside then see try to find out why it wasn't really burning right because flames are supposed to be smaller and hotter and not just like big fire flames so i'm gonna have to see what i can do with this thing guess all I'm right so i already pulled that one off and so i'm taking this one off they're a little corroded but that they're fine. I'm still trying to figure out how this thing comes up because I think it does come up. That's it. Those things are kind of dirty down in there too. So I just need to clean it all and I think that'll probably fix the not working right situation. So while I'm waiting on the stuff for the little stove to dry, I actually bent the handlebars on my bike. Well, not really the handlebars, but everything down here was kind of out of alignment because I was going down the nursery road. And I say this wasn't my fault. I swerved off the road a little bit to dodge a rut. And I didn't see there's a basket because the weeds were so tall. The basket they used to wrap the roots of the trees. I didn't see it and I ran it over and it got caught and everything under there. So it made me wreck. Well, not really wreck, but the bike fell over and uh, kind of knocked everything out of alignment, but I think I got it back pretty good now, maybe. And all I did was just loosen this bolt right here at the top of the shock. I loosened that, and I loosened that one, and I loosened this one up here too, on the other side. I didn't loosen that one down there, and then all it is is get up here and push down on the handlebars, and it compresses everything and kind of gets everything back in line. So I haven't tightened this one back up yet, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Might help if I turn it the right way. All right, so got those back cold in there. And I'm gonna take it for a little test run here and make sure everything's straight. All right, so I'm gonna test drive it now and uh, make sure it is right.
That seemed to fix the problem. It's not as... Everything seems to be pretty straight now. Because before, I could tell whenever it was messed up. So, I think we're good now. Alright, so I'm just putting these little burners back in here. Where's my... And you gotta tighten up this nut on the back side. I'm gonna try to tighten up. It doesn't really have to be really tight because this thing probably isn't gonna see too much crazy things. I wish these nuts for a little bit longer. It's hard to deal with. Nah, that's as tight as it all right, so got those back on there. And then this goes over it. As you can tell, it's not completely clean, but that's about as clean as I could get it. So I figured I was gonna make do with it. back on there so and then this this slides right there and back together brand new i'm going to test it and see how it does I'm not going to test it without propane all right so i'm going to test this now Looks like it's doing a little bit better than what it was. As you can tell now, there's not, those flames aren't like as tall. This one's still a little taller, but dies down, mellows out a little bit. But that's how it should look. This one over here is just throwing flames. This is for the one you want to get cooked fast. Just throw it on there. That's still putting off heat right there how it is, so I'd say that's probably fine. And there's not really any reason to have it turned away yet. This one's doing good. All right, it works. So I guess it was a good find for free. And now whenever I'm doing my little camping challenges, I'll have something to cook on. And I haven't got around to posting any of the uh, camping things I've tried to do because the first time it rained, the second time I think it rained, and the third time the video just did not turn out. So hopefully before long, I'll be able to get a decent camping video up. So you guys will have to stay tuned for that. All right guys, so I'm on my way up here to my little campsite where I'm gonna camp tonight in the SUV. My house is up there on the right, up there on the hill. So we're just across the nursery from it. All the trees and the kids can see up there. But it's up there, so. I'll show you the setup in the back and stuff, how I'm going to use it whenever I get up here where I'm going to camp. There's a decent little flat spot here I'm going to try to set up everything on. So I'm going to try my new camper out and see how it does. I guess I'm going to try to go a little off-roading up here to this road on the left. We'll see if we can make it up here. Shouldn't be any problem though. actually right near where I hung one of my deer stands. I don't know if I talked about that spot. No, I think I did. I don't know if it'll go in this part of the video or not, but I actually have a tree stand right up here on the hill where I'm going to be camping. This is rough right here. I bring the dirt bike up here in this little area a lot because I got a little 
ramp going up there and I usually go up that hill straight in front of us too. There's a little trail up that hill up there. You can see a tire track up through there. So I'm gonna park right here. I believe this is gonna be a pretty good spot here. And get out and get everything set up and start cooking my spam sandwich because I wanted to eat something because I'm not really hungry, but I wanted a little something to eat. So I'm going to get out and get all the tables and the little grill and stuff set up. Alright, so I got my table set. I'll get my cameraman a chair. Put him on the other side of the table and cook right in front of him, not give him none. I'll give Ginger some though. There's the cameraman's chair. I'll go ahead and get the grill. And this is the grill that I fixed and was working on. I don't think I'm going to use those. It's not windy out here, so should be all right. And get my Spam and my Pam, my cooking spray. Don't want my Spam to cook to the pan. Get my bread and a lighter. I guess I need to light the grill before I try sticking stuff on it. be good. Alright, I'm going to throw my spam in the pan. I didn't bring a spatula. I didn't think about that. I'll just have to do one of the fling it up in the air deals. Maybe. Probably drop it. Alright, we'll get the spam cooked. There may be something in here, somewhere. I always keep plenty of stuff in. Maybe there's nothing in here. It's completely cleaned up. There's nothing in here but a key. And there's a straw. So I got two options. I got a straw and a key. I think a straw is going to be my best option. But probably better if I just flip it around while it's on the pan. It's already cooking. Good. And I didn't bring any plates here, so this might be interesting. So I'm going to sit down here, watch my Spam cook, somebody coming up the road, over there somewhere. Alright, so I believe my Spam is ready to flip, so there we go, don't need no utensils around here except that pan's kind of hot. I think it's pretty well cooked on that side, so just give it a couple more minutes and the Spam should be done and I'll throw it on a piece of bread and try to eat it if it don't taste too bad because I didn't bring anything to put on it, no mayonnaise, nothing, just 
spam in between pieces. You can get me a piece. You say get one piece of spam. Get me one. Why are you talking in the whole video? I guess you have to cut it out. If I can. I don't think he knows where we're at. He won't be able to call. He won't be able to answer it. There's no service. You see us. Alright, so my brother's driving around the track. My brother's driving around the track and trying to find us. He just hit the horn. I gave a professional Bigfoot call, so I think he heard it. I got a good view from up here, though. I will say that. I might bring me a lawn chair out here for deer season. Sit down right here or go up one of these trees. All right, I believe the spam is done, so now I'm gonna get a piece of bread out here. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to get on a piece of bread. I think I need to flip this before that side burns. All right, so my brother just came and dropped off the care package. He brought the spatula I needed about 10 minutes ago. And got some sweet tea in there. There's a plate. There's some mayonnaise for the spam sandwich. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get me a piece of bread here. I'll stick it on there like that. Maybe. Ooh. And then we do. Alright, so I got everything sealed back up in the spam off on a piece of bread. Put me a little crease in the piece of spam there. And you just fold it like that. And then it opens up a little air pocket. But it's very hot, so I'm not gonna take a bite right now. So I guess that's all I have to cook, so not much of a meal, but and my bow's in the back of the tracker, so I could go practice my or shoot. I could just shoot the bow up here. Practice my archery skills. Because one of these days that's what I'm gonna have to rely on. Archery. I'm gonna be running around with a bow. And right here behind me you may be wondering what this lovely piece of machinery here is this is my bed for tonight i don't have a pillow or anything but i'm gonna have to try to make do with it so yeah that's about it all right so i'm gonna try my spam sandwich here maybe it's cooled off enough here goes ginger Is that a razor going down the road? No. I would give this a 7 out of 10. It's really not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's actually pretty good. A little crisp on one side, though, but that's because I don't have a spatula to flip it. But overall, it's not too bad, so I'm going to finish eating my Spam sandwich here, pack all this stuff back up, and go on. Well, I guess I'll mess around and shoot my bow till it gets dark, and then I'm going to try to sleep in there. So I'll catch you guys in the morning whenever I wake up bright and early and I'll cook some breakfast or something. 
All right, guys, so I'm actually driving up to a abandoned house right now. And this was after we done the cooking the spam and stuff. I'm just kind of messing around until it gets dark, and I'll go back up there because I don't have anything to set up now. I'll just hop in the back, and we're good to go. So I'm going to show you guys this house right here because it actually is this part of the property of the nursery. I'm going to go in there and show it to you. It's nothing really too special. It's just, well nothing special it was never finished on the inside it was just built on the outside and that's it so I'll go in there and show you it looks like the nursery workers actually came in and uh, done a lot of work to it because all this stuff was growing up pretty bad so these right here these right here are the metal baskets that I was talking about that wrap the roots of the trees that's what caused me to wreck on the dirt bike. And also this house has a pond too. I don't know if you can see it over there or not, but there's a pond in that little area. It's not very big, but it's a pond. I'm trying to watch for snakes and bees and all the above in here. Cause there's probably some in here. Yeah, right there's a bee right there. All right, well, there's a dead bird laying right there. That's a good first sign. So as I was saying, it never got finished in here. Well, it never got finished in here. Just the main structure was built. So right here, you got your lower floor. Not exactly sure what that would be in there or that, I guess bedrooms. This looks like probably be a bathroom this i'm not really sure there's another dead bird right there and this is probably a mudroom i would assume so that's this part of it and it's got a ton of windows on the back here you could build like a deck or something back there then you got upstairs here nothing much to see up here just like a little loft oh it gets a whole lot hotter up here but that's probably bedroom. This is probably bedroom. It's kind of like a Jack and Jill top. Little closet right here. Bathroom right here. So it's about all there is. Come on, Ginger. So that's the tour of the inside of the abandoned house. Not really much to see, but it's a cool little place. You can get in here and finish it and stuff, and you can make it a nice place. All right, guys. It does so as i was saying about the house i would like to have it if the guy would that owns it all would sell it but what i would do is get a company in here and put some i-beams under it and raise it about 10 feet so i could put a basement under it and have a door going out the far side then i put a garage over here have to go get some dirt somewhere from up there on the hill and build the garage up too so it all be level and then you'd have a basement and you'd have a garage and the house would be higher off the ground you wouldn't have to deal with crawl space and all that stuff and you can make it a nice place with a little bit of work because i mean there's really not a whole lot of work to do other than just finish out the inside you have to do a lot of landscape and stuff but you can make it a nice so place you guys leave me a comment down there and tell me what you would do with this place if you would do the same thing or lay it out differently or yeah, what so it's not exactly dark yet but it's getting there and my phone's almost dead so i was figured i'd go ahead and talk right fast i'm up here set up got ginger with me right here I had to turn the slide on so y'all could see something but I figured I would show you how I'm going to get out of here in the morning because right now I'm kind of, I can't really get out unless I went around and opened that. But there's a trick to it. No, the light went off. You can't see me. But on my little key fob right here, hit the little trunk button and it pops open. And then just push it open and the trunk pops up. And then I could pick this up too or I can just crawl out like this. So I'm out here set up and like I said, it's not exactly dark yet, but I didn't have enough phone battery to wait. So I'm going to go ahead and get in here and get tucked in for the night and I'll catch you guys in the morning. Alright guys, so it's the next morning. 
and I actually ran back up to the house last night while it was dark and got some supplies so I got a little cooler here and uh, got some breakfast in it so I'm gonna go ahead get to cooking I guess I'll cook the eggs first. I'll wait for that. In this pan. Leave that right there, it's a little hot, so I'm gonna move it over for a second. Wanna clean my hands. Uh, I'm not sure if I have salt and, yeah, there's salt and pepper in this packet of intense. Never mind, I'll come take it. That's good enough. And then, I got some liver mush too, so whenever that gets off, I'm gonna put some liver mush on there. I got some bread and some cheese, so I'm, gonna, I'm making a liver mush egg and cheese. Got some mayonnaise. And I got some more mayonnaise. So, I guess now I'll just let this finish cooking. It shouldn't have too much longer. It's cooking pretty quick on here. It's about time to flip it again. But it's actually time to take it off. Alright. Things injured after something over there in that pile of stuff. All right, so I'm actually thinking about trying to find like an old camper or something online and uh, just try to fix it up or something and actually use it for like a camper, like a little all-pro camper. And I can bring it up here, take it kind of wherever I want to. So you guys let me know if that's something you want to see. I might try to find one and buy it. All right, here we go. Get back over there towards the middle. Now I gotta wipe off my hand. All right, I think this sandwich is done too, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it off. And everything is done, go ahead and turn off the grill. All right, so I'm gonna cut this so we can see how it looks in here. Eat on it so it'll cool off a little bit. And there's your liver mush sandwich right there. Or egg and cheese and liver mush sandwich. It's pretty good. Alright guys, so I just finished up eating the liver mush and egg and cheese sandwiches. So, packing everything back up now. You now, it kind of amazes me that this grill doesn't stay hot very long at all. After you cut it off, it gets cool quick. And that pan's still hot, but the grill itself ain't hot.
I, I reckon that's good enough. Quick and easy camp breakdown. Everything's up, and I'm gonna head back up to the house. All right, guys, don't forget to like and comment because liking and comment really helps me out. And don't forget to leave a comment about what kind of camper you think I should get and what I should do to it.